Yeah. So I'm Himangshu. I I'm I work at a I mean I just now started on my own uh, with my own venture called Socratic. Before that I was at another company called Bank Bazaar. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. And yeah, I'm recent pass out from IIT Kharagpur. I am I worked here uh, in for this hackathon with Navid. He's interning with us. He's from my college only. So what we have been doing for the past two months is that uh, we have been stumbling across education and, and found out that there's a lot of end barrier uh, to creating videos very easily. As in, it takes quite a significant effort for every video that you create. Typically, need a production team uh, to create video, and then once you create, you cannot reuse it because if if something changes, you have to reshoot everything. It's kind of a nightmare scenario for any uh, creator. So what we did is that. Uh, we looked at it in a different way and let's see how can we create videos separately. So we thought, okay, we're going to create an HTML5 presentation. We're going to have text and images flowing and we're going to play an audio track on top of it. So we talked to other people and we found that there are other use cases of this. Uh, one use case is probably if you want to tell a story to small kids, so it, it's pretty easy to create. So what we have done, I mean, we have been working it for, on it for some time. Today, what we managed to do is that we enabled some basic, I mean, very primitive version of RSA animation that was worked by Navir. And I adapted the way we had built it so that you can uh, create any story. So uh, this is how it works. You can log in and that's, that's pretty simple. So for now, I'm calling it a dialogue. So uh, let's say you have already created, uh, I mean, there are two possibilities. Either you already have something that is semi-created or you want to start afresh. So, so this is one thing that I have been working on, uh, I mean, testing for some time. Uh, so, so I, I click on edit. It's a bit slow sometimes. So what I have essentially done is that I, there are three things that you can do. You can either uh, play back whatever you had created till now or you can once you have selected this is the text and this is the image I'm going to present and uh, you can give a voice over it and the first step obviously is to decide what is the text or the image that's going to fill up the screen so we come here so so we have some very basic templates there's a first slide uh, that is visible so this is all the text that will come up when I'm recording my voice over and This is another slide. We can add another image here. By clicking here, okay. I clicked a few times more. I don't think that's required. So currently we are supporting up to four images. So uh, we can choose any uh, URL and. I editing adding text is something okay this is new text now what we figured out is that if uh, instead of having one whole slide all entire content at one shot if you display one thing at a time something like a reveal JS guys are doing it it makes for a better uh, engagement with the end user and it also gives a feeling of a video because so long as the screen is changing the people will be I mean the end user is typically more occupied than a textbook so this is what we're calling the edit mode there's something called a record mode and there's a slight server crash so I have to take care of that so this is a record mode so by default nothing is visible on the screen and right now I'm not recording anything so it's in pause mode so now I'm, whatever I'm speaking is getting recorded live and I can do a few user actions. So at this point of time, nothing is visible on the screen, but this slightly visible. So this gives a warning to the user what is about to speak about. I can uh, make certain part of the text appear. And what Navid built today is uh, uh, this thing. So I, I can use my mouse so this is more useful when you're using a pen and that thing it is much more accurate at that point of time so whatever I am doing with my mouse at this point of time it will be played back in the same sequence uh, at the end so 
this is the next presentation so as to speak of this next slide so herein also i can appear and disappear few text and exactly in the same sequence with whatever words i am speaking right now the same thing will be played back at the end of uh, this and this is another uh, text now it takes a bit of time so I'll just play the url so whatever i have done right now has been recorded and So this is what we are doing. Oh, that's um, awesome, man. So we essentially have slideshow with voiceover that. Yeah, and we have right now integrated that. Uh, the way we are looking at this annotation is like a primitive RSA animation because they have all those. So some a, a decent guy with a pen and a paper, uh, thing can create a pretty decent RSA animation. Right. And so we are building a few steps. So right now, in the very early, I mean, we started working on November first week type of thing. Mm -hmm. So this is what we. Oh, I wanted to launch it on 1st of January, so it, the hackathon worked out well for me because we had a slice in. So, uh, I mean, uh, we are available at Socratic.com, so please uh, pull in your feedback when trying to build. Any questions from anybody? Any suggestions? So, um, you know, this. this Format usually works very well if it's done in the screencast. So you're demonstrating something on your screen and talking about it. And, mm. and you're, um, there, there are a bunch of screencast recording tools. Mm. Uh, none of them work through the web. It would be really nice if, for instance, um, through the web, tell, you can tell the browser, I want to capture my own screen. Is it possible? There is a similar case? software, actually. I, I forgot the name, uh, some screen, something. Uh, we are actually, what, uh, I'm not too, uh, 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 comfortable with the format of them because they are essentially ca creating a video out of it so the I am banking of lot of reusability and and ease mm. so that is something that is compromised if you're creating a video because once a video is compressed it's it's pretty difficult you to do anything yeah is the, the final the new HTML5 API which lets you record the browser screen Okay. So that so here, if some people are like paranoid, okay, I want an HTML. I mean, I want a video. We can generate a video by taking screenshots after a point of time. But uh, I mean, uh, we want to be, let's say, a bit adventurous on the side. That, okay, we want editable videos, and if it's so easy to make an editable video, hopefully people will <laughs> start making more of them. So maybe a better use case will be more of an educational thing because if you see, uh, if you look at Coursera, or even if you look at lot of the tutors that we as a software all community, of all of Khan Academy, Khan Academy and guy yeah, and, and uh, they treat us back. I was looking that guy. Year of I'm using a lot of AngularJS, so he was uh, giving a uh, presentation of uh, how to test in AngularJS. Mm. So he had done a rebuild of JS. So what he was doing is on the screen, rebuild of JS was going on, and he had a camera set up and he was speaking on top of it. Mm. So you do not need that setup if you have this one. I mean, I, so this is much more convenient and. Uh, we have a redo button because of CSS is not <laughs> appearing as of now. Uh, we are doing some changes. So if you have made a mistake, you click on it and you are, you can uh, retake that particular subsection of the presentation, mm -hmm. rather than like waiting for the 
the entire post production to complete and then start doing redo and all those stuff. Awesome. So that's what where we are at. Any other questions? Yeah. So, um, when is it to be public? Uh, oh, we wanted to be yesterday. <laughs> so right now we end up uh, sort of last lap to get. We're trying to put up a version so that just people can come and create whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So initially we were pitching to schools that uh, uh, why don't you? Because we've had a theory that uh, I mean. Uh, uh, we read that if students are teaching other students, it's the better for them. That's the best way to learn. It's better for the students themselves. Yeah. They learn it better if they teach others. Yeah. So we are pitching into the tool where students can create presentations. Whatever they have learned in the class, we give them interesting questions and they create presentations like this. So it will help them learn better. But schools has a longer sales cycle. Mm. You know, so in the meantime, we are saying, okay, uh, we talk to other people. I mean, whenever we go here and there, they say, okay, a uh, few use cases we are getting. One is that small kids parents they want to have stories and all uh, mm. stories for uh, kids so essentially if you look at any fairy tale it's what it's one page is picture and another page is text mm. so this can easily uh, take care of that mm. that is one use case and other use case with, uh, from that point only we're talking to a few publishers okay we're going to make videos out of every book that you have and you can sell it as an app or something this one use case so right now we are in the phase of use case finding sort of and and let's see how if if we i mean if you're able to lower the barrier that anybody can create a video in five ten minutes five minute, five minute video mm. hopefully a lot of videos will be created right, that's awesome so thanks Thank you. you are the main organizer here right yes a nice organization man thanks 31st <laughs>